how do welcome my name's Anna I usually do videos about makeup lately it's been a lot of Natasha Denona and today is no exception um if you've seen my last two videos you'll know that I am a huge fan of the new Natasha Denona Xenon palette and I just wanted to do another video about it where I try to do the same look with the mini and the midi uh, just to see kind of whether you need both or whether they're different enough. I think they're a great companion together. The matte grays are um, varied um, a bit. It's the two of them together. And then um, this silver shade is different than you know the silvers here and this one has a matte black this one does not so I don't know I just thought that it would be fun to compare them I love comparing palettes um I do have some other comparison videos um up on YouTube so yeah let's get started I think I will just do the mini on the right I don't know why and then the midi on the left so um, I think I'll do kind of side-by-side side, different different brushes uh, different but similar brushes let's start with the mini palette all right so I'm gonna go into puff this sort of flesh um, toned well I shouldn't say that it's more like an eggshell um, <laughs> it's like super pale flesh um, all right and I want to place that, I'll do a gradient out um, and try to do that with, with the, the bigger palette. So I'm going to put this um, on the inner corner here. Um, that is a very similar shade to my particular skin tone. Actually, it does lighten it up uh, just a bit and brighten that up. Okay. I'm actually gonna zoom in a little bit for you here. There we go. Now with a different brush, I wanna try to keep these brushes separate and not just grab for the last one. All right, so new brush, going to go in to Han Trail. Um, and I'm gonna dip it a little bit into Flurry, so I'm gonna sort of mix these two. Okay, so then next up, going into this shade called Mist. And I'm gonna use that same brush that I did before with this palette. Uh, this one has the silver, so I'm gonna remember the silver uh, ferrule. And I'm going to blend that. All right. And then with the black ferrule. <laughs> we're going into my midi palette I'm gonna go into blizzard that does look lighter to me than the other palette but overall in the end we'll see we'll see because they're looking pretty similar so far I think all right, now back to the mini. Going into this shade with the silver ferrule, and this is called Gloom. It's quite a bit darker than the other um, matte gray. I think I'm gonna sort of do that at an angle. Hopefully we can make that look nice with lots of blending <laughs> and I'm going to bring that actually all the way out to my brow. I have some black on my forehead. <laughs> How did that get there? Mm, some fallout here. Okay. Back to this brush going into Snurt which is a little bit lighter. Ooh, it's, it 
interestingly showing up almost darker. Maybe it's because I blended the other side out really well. Yeah, interesting. I think it's actually looking deeper. Is that just the um, the light? I'm getting a little bit more light. I'm using natural light and I think more is coming from this side. Okay. Well, I'm actually going to go back into um, the small mini palette and I'm just, whoa, maybe not. Maybe that's fine. Why is my phone having trouble focusing? I'm gonna zoom, I'm gonna have to zoom out a little, I think. Okay, hopefully that was not going in and out of focus the whole time. I think I need to take um, the shade Blizzard again and sort of um, blend on the left side a little bit more. Is that helping or hurting my cause? I feel like this side is just blended out a little better. Okay, going back in on, no, this side. I'm gonna go back into Snurt just, oops, with the correct brush, just a little bit. I just want to try to blend a little bit more here. Now, this is going to be the tricky part because there is no black black in this palette. So, I'm going to begin with this black in the mini palette. Oh, you know what? I need new brushes for this. So let's use a tiny, not tiny, but a little more round focused brush and I actually think I am not going to be able to get this deep of a shade on this side. We'll see. We'll see. And then take the blending brush <laughs> um, and just try to Oh, I had gotten black on that. Good job, Anna. Wow. That, um, that is not, not what I was planning. It's fine. Blend, 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 blend forever and ever. <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay. So going into night sky, which I think is the deepest one. It might be splash. I don't know. We'll see. This actually also has a little bit different tone and texture than the black. It's not a matte. We're just gonna just gonna get in there and see what we can make happen. Oh, and there's the sun. Honestly, this one's a little easier to work with um, because that matte black is matte black is always really scary for me. I have small eyes and it tends to get everywhere. Wow, that sun. Using natural light can be a little hazardous. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, I can't see though. I'm gonna pause this for a minute. I'm actually just liking the way that this side's blending better and looking and I'm able to manipulate the shadow more easily. Um, and taking the brush for the midi palette, I'm gonna blend that like I did on the other side. Yeah, I actually think that shade was easier to work with, and I believe that's a cream to powder formula, so interesting. Yeah, this side's just looking a little bit more messy. Also, more fallout. This side's a little cleaner, um, like here. It still fell right here, but 
that's pretty normal for me with any shadow. <laughs> um, and this isn't too bad. All right, so since I got that underneath on that side, I'm gonna put it on this side as well. So I'm gonna take two smaller uh, pencil brushes and two pencil brushes. They're actually even the same brush. And I'm in the mini palette. Uh, I'm actually gonna take the, the gloom shade, not quite the black. And I'm gonna uh, just, just dab that on the bottom, on the lower lash line. Oof, this is just getting messy. Hmm. And then with this palette, I'm gonna go into Sposh this time because I think it's a little bit um, lighter of a shade than that night sky. I think it'll read a little lighter. But also deeper, sorry, deeper than the snert, the... Oh yeah, these are a little easier to work with as far as deeper shades. I like the formulas better than that powdery matte. Interesting. Okay. Oof, I need the rest of my makeup on. I'm looking a little <laughs> ill. Okay, and we're gonna keep, keep track of which was which. Um... Now for the silvers, and I want to swatch this out to see. So in this palette, we have one silver. We're just going to, here, we're going to put that down my arm right there. Okay. And then in this palette, I'm guessing some combination of this, that, and that might be the thing. So going into Gru and Super Ionic, which I think has more, much more color in it uh, than, than this shade, which is called Chromatic. Um, all right, and then Stellar is going to be the third one that I might use for this side. And I just want to see what those look like compared to this silver. Okay, so I think actually like a combo of Gru and Super Ionic is what's going to be the closest. Uh, so on the mini side, we're going into Chromatic, the only shimmer. And I'm gonna go from the inner corner all the way, and I'm gonna go high so that you can actually see it. Woo! Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. <laughs> that just like changed the whole situation here. Mmm. So lovely. Okay. Just pack a little more on. That is a lovely shade. Okay. Um, look at how that brightened everything up. Hmm. I like. So then on this side, I'm going to go into Gru first and see where we're at after, after we get that on there. This one's a little harder to spread around. It's a little, a little, taking a little bit more effort. And it's definitely darker in value. No sun, stay behind those clouds. <laughs> oh, that feels messy and I can't see anymore. All right, so now what I need to do is put a more sparkly shade on top of that. And the question is, do I use this or this? 
Okay, hopefully this lighting's okay. I had to close the blinds. <laughs> it was too intense. Um, took that opportunity to sort of clean that up um, a little bit under there. Okay, so I think that what I decided based on this is that actually putting this on top of this is going to be the closest to this. So I'm just gonna try that um, and we'll see what happens. So going into, this is the shade Stellar. And it just doesn't have as much pink. The other one has some pink in it. All right, and just throw that on top of there. Make it a little more sparkly. Yeah, and that kind of spreads the sparkles around a little bit more. That silver on this side really is very unique and it's a little brighter. Interesting. It's gonna add a little more, a little higher. All right, and then I wanna take uh, this pencil brush that I used on the bottom and just uh, add a bit more of this shade, um, monochromatic, what is it called? chromatic, uh, just to, to emphasize that inner corner. And on this side, I actually, I'm going to just try to use this. It's going to be a little bit different shade. Let's get the other brush though. Super sparkly. Hmm. Okay. All right. I'm going to finish up my makeup. And maybe just try to even this out a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Once everything's there, it might not be so uneven. I kind of went from zero to 100 very quickly. Anyway, I'm going to finish my makeup and see if we can do something with this. All right. Okay. Well, here's the final look. Um, It's funny. I don't... Okay, I don't hate it. I think I kind of fixed it. But also, I'm hiding my eyebrows with my fringe because whoa I don't know I tried to make them deeper because it just everything got really dramatic really quickly today I don't know frankly not having the best makeup day but part of that I think was that I couldn't see because of the sun and now that the sun has gone away I think it looks better again so lighting is everything folks anyways um my final assessment because the whole point was do you need both of these and I think the answer is no I feel like just get this one I don't think that the black black on this side looks any, it was actually harder to work with uh, for me. And I think that this shade here was a fine substitute for that. And I think you can get uh, uh, just, just a very similar look uh, with either one. Very dramatic today. <laughs> um, so yeah, I say you only need this one. Um, I mean, this is, I guess, nice for a little travel palette. Um, you just don't get as many. I would say, you know, this one you get more variety. And I think you do get variety with this one. Um, if you didn't see my last video, that's kind of what this is about. Uh, or what, what that video is about. Um, I'll tag it up ahead. I mean, up above. Um, so yeah, I, I say this one. I say go with the midi. I really, I, I stand by this is a masterpiece. I love this palette. I really do. I think those deeper shades, like you saw, I didn't struggle as much, um, as with the matte, like something about the formula of the cream to powder, um, of this one just made it so much easier to, to work with. And yeah, I think that the shimmers are very beautiful and there's more nuance in, um, you know, like the pink and these champagne shades and things. So yeah, I say that I actually do like this one better um, than, than the mini. And that's that. So that's all I have to say. Um, thank you for being here. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that you are having a great week and I hope to see you in the next video.
Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side alive. It will help us every day. It will brighten all the way. If we keep on the sunny side alive.